welcome everyone today's topic is on the subject history of costumes and today's discussion is on the topic mesopotamian and egyptian part a so let's begin with a small history of egyptian civilization Adriat of rain forced the prehistoric ancestors of the Egyptian to desert the plains on either side of the upper Nile. For thousands of years, the watershed had provided a rich country, but when game became scarce due to lack of rainfall, these people abandoned the life of the hunter, became agriculturists, and settled down in the lower valley of the Nile. Since that time, the Egyptians have been greatly influenced by this river. The Egyptians made such progress in civilization that by 3500 BC, they were producing stone vessels, decorated pottery, figurines carved of bone or ivory or modeled in clay and woven linen cloth. Finally, metal tools came into general use. Economic developments also advanced political progress formally divided among many small states the people of egypt now formed two clearly defined kingdoms the kingdom of upper egypt and the nile valley in the south and the kingdom of lower egypt in the delta at the north about 3000 bc after bitter wars the powerful but backward people of the south and those of the northern kingdom united as a nation composed of nobles the masses and slave under the rule of the first supreme Paro Menes. King Menes moved his capital from the south to a few miles above the delta, and the city was named Memphis. Our rich knowledge of this important country is due to the Niles Valley's dry climate which has preserved material for 3,000 to 4,000 years. Even the texture and color of fabrics and paints have remained intact through the centuries. The old kingdom covering 10 dynasties was followed by the middle kingdom consisting of dynasties 11 to 17. The Egyptian believed that in his future existent life would continue and he would enjoy all the comforts he had known in his stay on earth. For that reason, a permanent abiding place, huge and awe-inspiring, was erected for the dead and the body was preserved by mummification. Scenes depicting everyday life in the field and in the papyrus swamp and every known trade and occupation were portrayed on the walls of the tomb. These familiar scenes showed the brewer, the baker, the porter and the scribe. The costumes of men and women were similar during the Old and Middle Kingdoms. The style of dress showed the wearer's wealth and importance. In the New Kingdom, beginning with Dynasty 17, changes in costume occurred as a result of commercial interests and contacts with other people. Among these changes were the innovation of the shirt and many variations of skirts, one type shorter in front than in the back. Another type looped up to show the pleated inner skirt and another with a full pleated skirt. Mirrors of highly polished metal aided the beauty conscious lady of the Nile in applying powder, rogue to the lips, and painted to the eyelids and corner of the eyes in order to enhance their brilliance and to make them appear longer. The male likewise was particular about his appearance. The slave applied ungnats to the master's face, then shaved him with a bronze blade, ground very sharp with emery and strapped with soft ox skin. The length of the beard indicated his station in life. It was the king who set the fashion for men in dress. The king had to acknowledge his wife as his equal, if not his superior. Egyptian includes queens who were great leaders. The women of Egypt enjoyed social freedom and achieved legal advantage. She fought on the battlefield 
entered alliances and exerted much power the egyptian women could hold property a wife had complete control of the joint estates a man was responsible for any irregular conduct of his wife in the later years of the egyptian civilization when life became more secure the women of a wealthy family was not permitted to work not to fight the position of women became subordinates as is usual in a military society there were two types of marriage like one without a full written contract another with a full written contract the latter included a dowry and the contract mentioned conditions in regard to property in case the marriage would be dissolved various tasks occupied the men in the place there were wig makers sandal makers perfumers and special officials in charge of cosmetics in the towns and cities there were merchants ceramists jewelers coppersmiths and professional writers or scribes agriculture and weaving were important occupations in the civilization itself there was one legendary queen known as cleopatra she had all already she had sealed her name in the fashion of egyptian civilization the dress of men from ancient kingdom dynasties 1 to 10 garments outer upper nude populous until dynasty 5 the outer lower wear short skirt of white linen worn by the nobility skirt wider and longer dynasty 5 to 6 triangular erection at side soft material draped in different ways with large stiff box pleat or fullness draped under belt at front royal skirt with front rounded off and wide strip hanging from the uh, under girdle uh, worn by the king loin cloth worn by peasant so the undergarment was loin cloth worn by nobility in later part of the period cloaks and overgarments skins of wild beasts long, long elaborated draped robe worn by king of her official business they how they decorated their hair mostly it was black wig round bob arranged in little curls long hair falling from crown of head to shoulder worn later in that period the headdress red wicker work crown of lower egypt tall white helmet like crown of upper egypt patient after 3007 bc helmet headdress with royal snake or symbol of royalty worn also by pharaoh close fitting hood with lappet at each side clasped badge ending with gold fringe simple fillet worn by man not of royal belt footwear sandal or plaited or woven papyrus or palm leaves worn out of doors accessories ornamental girdle of painted leather or embroidered linen walking stick ornamented with color and gold inscribed with owner's name bracelet inlaid with paste or precious stones for the upper or lower arm anklet of colored embroidered or of gold and silver necklace with pendant figure of god or sacred animal gold silver bronze or fans ring official seal ring of red carnelian used by pharaoh beads in profusion of emeralds lapis lazuli agate carnelian amethyst onyx jasper garnet rock crystal and turquoise pearl and amber were also popular the typical colors were usually white mineral dyes were used at first then later vegetable dyes typical materials cloth of coarse texture skirt of matting worn by the peasant makeup postage or artificial beard various loads of the royal toilet important called superintendents of the clothes of the king washers of pharaoh etc the women of the ancient kingdom dynasty 1 to 10 
the garments outer upper and lower upper tight tunic with one or two shoulder straps bare breast cloak and over garments wear opaque and transparent shoulder cape hair cut short to accommodate wig wig of real hair worn by well to do of wool by lowest class wig set low on forehead fringed wig sometimes reaching to shoulder black wig ornamented with gold gold wig sometimes terminating in braids coiffer supports worn straight hair in two long tresses or rolls hanging to breast hair also worn loosely lotus flower often intertwined in the hair horus lock headdress milter shaped cap with long ear taps type similar to cleft worn by man helmet like cap thin bonnet of soft material with hood type small toque festive coiffure resembling hawk or guinea head wool vulture with outspread wings symbolic of mati goddess of truth vulture cap feather or plumped headdress of isis worn by the queen stiff turban with ureus worn by the royalty perfumed cone 4 to 6 inches high gold circlet around wig worn by the royal concubine footwear mostly wear barefoot or sandal accessories cane 4 to 6 feet long often gilded and inscribed with owner's name mirror of bronze with handle forming a design of flower or a human being fan made of dyed feathers and leaves having handle 5 to 7 feet long then jewelry if you see many strands of beads sometimes extending to waist jeweled collars jeweled belt sometimes connected to jeweled collar by straps at first anklet of bead work or weaven material gold and silver upper and lower arm bands then typical colors if you see white green yellow and red for tunic typical materials if you see softer linen than fabric used for man's costume then makeup if you see oils and ungments stibium for eye green or black eye shadow hole veins of chest sometimes outlined in blue lips painted with carmine fingertips and toes colored with henna now men from the middle kingdom dynasties 11 to 17 so garments of outer upper sleeved tunic of heavy or transparent linen unbelted and reaching to knee belted tunic of opaque soft material outer lower if you see continuation of older types transparent outer skirt over and a skirt both skirts seam length at first then outer skirt narrow and longer in back than in front under cloth is line cloth cloaks and over garments shawl draped robe with opening for head side forming draped sleeve sometimes left unsewed hair wig set low on forehead covering ears long head wig with hair falling back from crown next is headdress fashioned batch clapped helmet like cap ornamented with royal s footwear sandal often lin- linen cloth linen with cloth embroidered in gold and decorated with enamel and jewels sometimes ornamental clasps over in step heelless sandal with turned up toe worn by upper class enemy sandal with picture of enemy on inside of sole mourner unsandaled unsandaled accessories waist belt with elaborate long narrow apron royal apron decorated with colored feathers as lion's head and polychrome glass attached to girdle a apron with master's name worn by slave lion's tail sometimes worn at back of skirt for royalty 
क्रॉस और की ऑफ लाइफ वॉकिंग स्टिक अबाउट सिक्स फीट लॉन्ग एंड विथ हेड रिजम्बलिंग फ्लावर और अदर ऑर्नामेंट ज्वेलरी ज्वेलरी इज लाइक ऑलमोस्ट सेम एज दी ज्वेलरी विच वी रेफर्ड फ्रॉम दी फर्स्ट सेवन स्लाइड लाइक अबाउट द मैन डायनासिटी फ्रॉम वन टू टेन सो टिपिकल कलर्स हेयर आर ग्रीन पॉपुलर वाइट जनरली यूज बाय अपर क्लास ट्राइड ऑफ कलर्स यूज ब्लैक येलो रेड रेड ब्लू वाइट डार्क ब्लू लाइट ब्लू डार्सलिंग वाइट रेड सेफरन ब्लैक then colors and manuscript scripts usually distinguished types like women as yellow man as red defined king as black nobleman usually white god is green and slave is blue typical materials wool considered unclean by priest worn by laymen costliness of material used in costume distinguish the class heavy and transparent linen used in tunic fine linen of natural color bleached or dyed often embroidered with gold silver and purple by upper class cotton or linen cap leopard skin worn by the priest papyrus plant or matting for tight short costumes used by the lower class women palm leaves or papyrus wood or leather used for the sandal so makeup skin painted or dyed ungaments and oils used false ceremonial beard with or without slender line along jaw bone length determining the rank of person women of the middle kingdom dynasty 11 to 17 garments outer upper tunic with strap across shoulder or with kimono sleeve rope of opaque soft material similar to a man's garment although it's draped differently and grided outer lower transparent outer skirt wrap around skirt with fullness at front skirt longer than the man's and belted higher plain wrap around skirt the garment of slave cloaks and over garments shawl shoulder cape rectangular cape hair short bob similar to type worn by man sometimes rather long with curled ends worn behind ears black wig ornamented with gold having two tresses extending to the breast headdress elaborate or merely a circlet of gold worn by royalty vulture cap ureus plumed or feather headdress crown of lower egypt worn by crown of upper egypt by the queen fillet with naturalistic lotus decorated cloth over wig perfumed cone 4 to 6 inches high footwear sandal with turned up toe accessories parasol used on chariot and for ceremonial procession fan of leaves palmetto or dyed feathers walking stick 4 to 6 feet long hair comb a wood or ivory stick of ivory wood bronze or glass used for applying makeup container of alabaster of coal mirror of highly polished metal jewelry breast plate elaborated girdle clasp gold silver bronze pins and enamel earrings rings pectoral bead necklace with pendant in form of amulet or sacred animal flat bracelet and arm bands sometimes anklet typical colors if you see green was very popular at first then white yellow and red also worn white very white is mostly used and white was fashionable later typical materials mostly were fine linen makeup body oils of various kinds including castor oil eye and brow made longer with coal eye shadow of blue or green made of malachite ochre used on the cheeks henna used to color fingertips and toes superfluous hair 
plucked special care given to teeth bone or ivory false teeth held in place with gold wires false beard attached by a gold chin strap sometimes worn by the queen also